Hey guys, it's a mini awesome cast back once again on this Monday, February 23rd, and today let's talk PlayStation. Um, there's an article coming out of TheVerge.com, uh, the PlayStation company, why Sony should ditch almost everything else. Well, very, very plainly, when you go down in this article, you dig down a little bit, there's this wonderful graph. And look at the big negative in mobile. Holy hell. Um, in this article, they, they kind of position that they should really stick with the games and dump almost everything else. Uh, as I said in the title, of course. So curious that we're in this position. So so TV is obviously a very commoditized dead end, as I've been hearing all week on podcasts. Um, you know, mobile has not been working as much as they try. Uh, very interesting. I was listening to this week's Twit, and they talked about how Sony, uh, even Sony Pictures, they're having trouble putting Sony products into Sony Pictures at this point over something like an iPad in the sex tape movie, right? Which I still got to see. I'm, I'm curious to see how that comes out. Or Modern Family this week is another uh, prime example, not for Sony, but it's a product placement. Um, and you look at the mobile, you know, how, how bad they've been doing. I remember thinking back to these last couple uh, Amazing Spider-Man films. And it's they're, they're great. I like them. I'm one of the few I know. Um, but anytime he pulls out these, these Xperia Sony phones, I feel like it's a weird alternate. It's like when they don't want to show Windows or Apple on the screens in CSI, right? Um, where it's this weird uh, amalgamation uh, Linux something or other that they're showing instead. Um, it takes me out of it because they showed these phones, which are not phones that I general, generally see, which makes me even more feel like this is not my world that the Spider-Man is living in, Andrew Garfield. Um, but it just takes you, it just takes you completely out of it. And then we look at Sony in general. This is a company that stirred the PlayStation 1 was on top of the mountain for so 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 long with the PlayStation the PlayStation 2 which was spun out of a weird partnership that went sour and seemed like just a spiteful invention uh for Nintendo because it was supposed to be an add-on to the Super Nintendo originally much to the vein of a Sega CD. Uh and we've gotten to this point where, you know, Sony has become, PlayStation has become the powerhouse of that company, of so many things. And, uh, you know, even with its downturn, they weren't on top of things in this last generation against the Xbox 360. Um, I like to refer to it as a sort of uh, uh, console generational hubris. That's what led to the Genesis overtaking the Nintendo. That's what led to uh, the Xbox taking over on PlayStation because they put out something that was expensive and they said, well, of course you're going to buy it because it's a PlayStation. And there's, we're seeing the same exact thing happen now with Microsoft's Xbox um, with this last one saying, well, this is how this console is going to be. And a huge backlash. And it was more expensive when we put this ad on. The Kinect is the equivalent of a Rob Robot f buddy from the Nintendo days. You don't want it. But it's kind of interesting. But you don't want to pay the price for that extra, right? Um, actually, it kind of looks like Rob more, I think, about it, too. But Sony... <sighs> I'm not. I've I've long been not a Sony fan personally, but there's something. To, I mean, I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not opposed to ever having a Sony console again. There needs to be a big, big case for me to leave my beloved Xbox. Right. I, I, I'm not looking for my next generation console yet, but I'm going to say wait till the dust settles a little bit after a year or two, uh, personally. But uh, you know, it's. Uh, I'll be hard pressed to, to change. You know, because I'm in the ecosystem already for Xbox. All my gamer points are there, you know, and, and I like it, you know, and I, I really don't care for what I've seen uh, UI wise with the Sony. Although you are really intriguing me with the uh, the uh, Let's Play stuff built in to the PlayStation like uh, Riz has been using lately. Riz, use them more, please. Um, but it really interesting. What do you what do you think? What do you think of uh, Sony becoming the PlayStation company? What do you think about Sony dropping all this other stuff? Your Sony TVs could be actually from somebody else in the very near future. You know, IBM dropped uh, uh, PCs and now we have Lenovo, which were much beloved, personally, until a recent debacle that I won't get into right here. Um, but uh, Sony PlayStation Company. I like it. I like the I like the ring of it. Maybe that's what they should just change the name to. Makes sense to me. But the PlayStation and everything, you know? I want to say open source the PlayStation because 
well, that's a whole other discussion for another time. Join us on Awesome Cast this week. We are scheduled to have some very fantastic guests that I met at Alpha Lab. If you want to learn more about the Alpha Lab at alphalab.org or check out my Good Morning show from this morning, um, Good Morning with Michael Sorg on the YouTube, Sorgatron.com. Other links are just off of there. So if you want to get all that kind of stuff. Um, until next time, awesomecast.net. We'll see you. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.